Good evening, early evening, Friday night vlog. Whether you want one or not. <laughs> Bit of a slightly different angle because I've put you on a tripod tonight. Because I normally hand hold you or the camera. But I wanted to show you something in a minute. Well, I've got a um, uh, very interesting thing it is too. Um, but before that, I'd like to thank everybody for their comments on my last vlog. Um, I think a few people, <laughs> a few people must have thought I was on a downer. <laughs> but it is not that. All I was stating was a fact of hitting, I've long past 40, but uh, it was just a fact that, you know, things I noticed. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just a, a thing people say that once you've passed 40 you start to, well they say now 50 and you start going downhill or something but uh, no it's just um, a sort of fact of life really but no it doesn't bother me getting older if I go white I go white if I go bald I go bald uh, whatever comes comes and I you know laugh it in the face but I won't be laughing this in the face having Tesco's 3.8 Things are going down there, I told you, but uh, I'll have two of them tonight, because early evening, as I say, and I'll have something to eat after. I've got a lot to do for the shaving channel, getting ready for that. Um, also, I'd like to say thank you very much, it's a bit of a milestone for this channel. As I checked, um, well, I clicked on create Creator Studio, that button, whatever it is, and to check for comments and um, messages to reply, sort of thing. And it said subscribers 700 exactly. So uh, it's, uh, you know, thanks very much for that. Because I know for a fact about two months ago, um, and for the last two years before that, this channel had around 570 subscribers and it stayed it fluctuated just below just over they come and go and um, it stayed like that for two years but for some reason I've got an idea why <laughs> but uh, the last couple of months especially it's gone up you know so that's about 130 subscribers you know, welcome to my channel and thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, it's a bit of a mixture channel. Vlogs like this take place quite a lot now because uh, I only used to do odd ones, but um, a lot of people seem to enjoy them. You know, just the talking crap, basically. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, let's get to this exciting thing. What I've got here, and it's an excellent thing. And it's that, the North Wales Hospital book, Denby. And it was written, compiled and edited by a fellow called Cluid Wynne, who is a Denby man, and I'm sure he worked in a hospital. Uh, anyway, he's wrote this book and he's had a bit of help from local people, people who worked at the hospital, and who had photos of the place and stuff like that. And... Um, you know, it, it's fantastic. It talks about the whole place from when it started in 1842 up till it closed in 1995. And in the 50s, when it was at its peak, it had 1,500 patients and employed about 1,000 staff. And it's an excellent book. Uh, well worth a read if you're into, into the North Wales Hospital, Denby. Um, and it's written by some, someone who knows it well, you know. So I'll just show you a couple of photos. Um, give you an idea of the place. Um, that's the staff in Mail Ward 8. Christmas time by the looks of it, with the decorations. Um, that was the New Year's Ball, 1939. Uh, that was the uh, staff event in the recreation hall 
So it's probably like their Christmas dinner. Um, oh, it's, you know, it's fantastic. That's the hospital choir outside the chapel. What else is it? Trying to find stuff of interest for you, you know. Um, that was a, a photograph of the nurse's home. A rural scene. Look how they stack the haystacks then. You can see that. Can you see that? <laughs> They even had their own tailors, hospital tailors. Oh, where are you? It's a job to see. That's the electro treatment place. Um, that's an aerial view in 1953. Uh, hospital kitchen with the staff. Oh, that was a uh, children's Christmas party. You know the staff's children. You know, fantastic, and it, it was a com community. There's the the Christmas fair. All the cooks prefer preparing the Christmas dinner. It was a, a community within itself. That's the hospital gardens, veg, and I told you it, it, it looked after itself, it did. It's a sports day. There's, um, what else is there? There's one here. Just shows you the, that's the sitting room in the nurse's home, the staff sitting room. That's their printing department. They did everything. Uh, hairdressers department. And that was uh, Gwynvrin in 1965. Um, well worth the hospital band. Well worth buying this if you're into your, the football team. Uh, there's one that just shows you the size of the place. Well, that's the old chimney. That's the old chimney of the hospital. Um, I'm trying to find, just bear with me. Oh, that's an interesting one. I told you that Pool Park was a sister hospital. Well, that's Pool Park there. Um, with all the staff outside and that was uh, 1937 when it opened and they paid £2,000 for that hospital that was its opening day the hospital cricket team and that's the nurses home with all the staff outside in 1934 And this is the hospital ballroom in 1935. You can see that. Well, that's the book. North Wales Hospital Denby. And it's available on Amazon, actually. You can either download it onto a Kindle, or you can, I like to have a hard copy. I've got a book, a couple of books on the hospital. Um, but I've been after this one for a long time, written by Cloyd Wynne, because he actually knows, you know, the place, and he's from Denby, and that's the front of the hospital. Look at that. Well, the old cars, I never even see with the reflection here, but let me just turn this thing up. Uh, not sure if you can see anything, but um, fantastic. Right. It's lovely, it's warm tonight, quite humid. Anyway, I'm sorry if you're not interested in that sort of stuff. <laughs> I should have said before I, you know, you're welcome to turn off. Or, um, but when you're from the town and 
it's nice, you know, because we don't know what's, well, we do know what's going to happen to it. It, it says in here, actually, um, it's going to be probably, the front has to be kept as it is because it's listed, grade two. But, um, oh, excuse me, I had a sneezing fit then. Um, as I say, the frontage uh, is all grade two listed, so they've got to keep all that, but they'll probably turn it into um, a housing development, apartments or something like that and some business units, apparently. But that might have changed. That's what they said in 2006. That's when this was written. So it might have changed by now. But uh, because the council own it now, don't they? So, uh, fantastic read. I mean, it's not just pictures. There's, you know, there's all sorts of history, quotations, of um, patients, staff, and all that sort of stuff in there. Um, and it's funny that ballroom picture, the Christmas Christmas dinner. Uh, there's a ch well, I've seen. There's a chap in it. There's a oh, yeah. This fella here. Where are you? This fella here. There's a fella in the white. If you can see there. There's a fella next to him in the dark he's a patient and they were saying he put all the trimmings up made out of crepe paper and as soon as the Christmas dinner was finished he would start straight away making all the decorations for next year and it's a massive huge place that you can see the size of it and it wasn't just used by staff and patients the people of Denby the town people could use it for functions, you know. Um, very interesting stuff. So, thank you very much, as I say, for all the subscribers and welcome to the channel. Um, and thank you very much for all your support and kindness and there's some good people out there. Some shit people out there as well, but there's some good people out there. Uh, and I love it. Love making videos, even if they're crap. <laughs> Going on and on and on. Right. Is that it? Yeah, that is it. I will definitely be doing busy filming tomorrow, because I'm doing, well, busy. My greenhouse update. And... Chili plant pepper. Oh, what was that pepper thing doing? Oh, well, I'll show you tomorrow. And um, hot and spicy, but it's Sainsbury's Piri Piri tomorrow. They're slightly hotter than Tesco's. So I'm having them tomorrow, and I'll do a Saturday night vlog with a few more of these. I'm only having a couple tonight because um, it's early on. And that is it. I'll keep you no longer. So thanks for watching. Hope it was of some interest to some people. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.